Just mm. to that. Number one, they won't rust. And number two, they're light. And because of all this work, this car is pretty quick. There's a fair bit of period turbo lag, as you can hear. <laughs> but when it gets on song... Bloody hell! No. tricky. Oh, there he made. It is quite scary through here. This is absolutely brilliant. Oh, look at that for a tidy line. Excellent. That's all do. No. Speed is the answer. Boy. Put in it, man. It does not to sixty in four seconds, and flat out, it'll be doing more than a hundred and sixty miles an hour. The best thing, though, is that all the understeer you got in the original car has been replaced with an extraordinary amount of grip and neutrality. You have got to love the Italians, haven't you? I mean, Eugenio <laughs> said a lot of the stuff in here wasn't working because if it was working, then it would be an Audi. <laughs> there is, however, one problem. It costs a quarter of a million pounds. Integrale, here we go. Didn't bother filming it, but we have got the time. Uh, oh. <laughs> yeah. now, an well, old... no, look at it this way. It's actually the same speed as a BMW M2. I think I can also claim quite reasonably that the old Mercedes A45 would go around the track for than that. Yeah. And be a hell of a lot cheaper. Yes, but, fact. but what, what? everything on a Mercedes would work. And who wants that? Be dull. Well, it's, what you, it's what Eugenio was saying. You don't want German stuff. You aren't in the Italian frame of mind, you oh, two. Are we not? No, you're not. That's okay. the trouble. Has well, anyone here got oh, an Italian God. car? 
No, they're not here, are they? They didn't make it. <laughs> it's raining. Did you... Yes, that is a good point, actually. It's also very windy, and before the tent blows away, we should get on. We should. Yeah. We must move on. Yeah, let's move it on. Now, earlier on, Jeremy was listing all the wonderful and remarkable cars that Lancia have made over the years. But let's not forget, Porsche has also made some rather remarkable cars. Absolutely. There was the 911. There was another sort of 911. <laughs> there was a slightly different 911 that was green. Yes, 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 I know. But this year marks the 50th anniversary of what I think must be the greatest Porsche of them all. Is it a 911? No. It's called the Porsche 917. And even if you have no interest in motorsport, you'll most likely recognise this machine because it's quite possibly the most iconic racing car ever created. The first thing you need to know is that although the 917 looks like a big, wide car, actually, it isn't. Ow. I'm in. God, it's tiny. Holy mother! Go. Porsche is the most successful car maker ever to race at Le Mans. They have 19 victories to their name. But this is the car that started it all. This is the car that gave them that all-important first win. Go! The following year at Le Mans, on the way to another crushing victory, it would go through the speed traps at over 241 miles an hour, a record that stood for more than 20 years. And in that same race, it was so fast it would cover a total of 3,315 miles, a distance record that would stand until 2010. This is just brilliant. Brilliant. Yes! <laughs> 